What is up my small wide mounts, this is FM Wrestle here, bringing you a new tutorial on how to make a Minecraft bucket server using MC My Admin. Now, this is the easiest way to make a Minecraft bucket server, and I am using a Mac, so if you're on Windows, sorry, this is not a tutorial for you. Now, if you're starting up and you don't know what bucket is, click in the first link in the description below that says bucket. Click on that, go to the FAQ, you'll find out what bucket is. Now, once you have done that, now come back, start watching the video again. Then click on the second link in the description below, and that should be MC My Admin. That will take you to this web page here. Once you're at this web page, then you can go to latest release. You want to go download now. Now I am using Minecraft version 1.8.1 .1 because Bucket is not updated yet. Now don't freak out because this tutorial will work for all future versions of MC My Admin as long as nothing changes with the startup and shutdown of everything of MC My Admin. Now first thing you want to do is minimize your web page web browser here. It should have automatically downloaded for you and it should have figured out what type of computer you are using. If it didn't, go to this direct link instead. Now, minimize your web browser. Then make a new Minecraft make a new you need to make a new finder window by doing Command N. All right, there you go. New mine, mm, new, sorry, new finder window. I'm saying Minecraft for some reason. Downloads. Click on downloads. You're at mcmyadmin.zip. It should be right here. If it's not, and all you see is the folder, that's fine too. You just have it set up so it unzips automatically. What you do is just double click on your .zip file and then it should unzip this. If you don't have a un archiver or unzipper, then just search it up on Google. Just look up Mac unarchiver. Then download that and unarchive that dot zip. Then once you have done that, take this my MC my admin folder, drag it onto your desktop. Now close the downloads. Now you have this folder right here. Go ahead and open it up. You're going to see all this. Now it might be kind of confusing at the beginning. Don't worry, it's not. What you're going to do is go under the spotlight and type in T-E-R, terminal. Go to terminal. Then now, once you're here, you're going to type in CD. Get rid of all those. All right, CD, then space. All right. Now you have to have this space. If you do not have the space, it's not going to work, right? After CD, make sure you have a space or else this will not work. Then drag in your MC My Admin latest. Drag that in, click return. Now type in B-A-S-H, space. If this did not work, I'm going to show you what happens when you type in CD without the space. That's what happened. No such file and directory. That is because you put in CD at the beginning. Don't do that. Space. Then drag in your folder. Return. Now type in BASH. Again, make sure you have that space. No space, this will not work. You have to have the space. Then drag in start.sh. Click return. Now it's going to start up your server. And it's going to download all the newest updates and everything. Now it's all done. Now you're saying, well, this is a really weird interface here. I don't really want to go through all this on this terminal screen. Well, that's fine. All you need to do is go to your web browser. Get rid of this. Put HTTP colon slash slash local 
host. Now, if you're accessing this from a, a different computer, which you can do, you're going to need your IP. Before we talk more about that, I'm going to put in the rest. You're going to need colon 8080. All right, once you have done that, quick return. It's going to come up here and it's going to ask you for username and password. What you're going to need to do is put in admin as the username and admin as the password. These are the default password and usernames. Now you're going to come up here and you're going to see Welcome to MC My Admin Wizard. First, let's talk about how to get the, access this from another computer. What you do is you click on the third link in the description below on the computer that you are using for the server. That should be ipchicken.com is the third link. Click on that. Then you're going to have your IP on that screen, on that tab right there. This is the IP you'll use to connect to the server and to the MC My Admin web page. And then just put colon 8080. Just replace the local host with your IP from the computer that you're using to host the server. Once you have done this, then you're going to come here, you click continue. You can skip it, but I do suggest continuing with the wizard. Server name, test server. This is this name that will be used in MOTV, MOTDs and server lists. Now, show on public server list. I'm going to click no. I suggest yes for everybody else, but I'm going to click no because I don't want anybody else joining. Survival or creative. You choose. I'm choosing survival. Allow player versus player combat. No. No monsters. No. Enable animals. Yes. Now you just quick start server. Once you have done this, you'll start up the server and it'll start making the world. Now this will take a moment, but while it's doing that, you want to come over here and start customizing the preferences. First off, server name. Name it what you want. Now there is going to be an update. Just click no, or you can update if you want, but I'm going to click no. Message of the day, you can customize by just putting in whatever you want. Hi. And then it's going to say player name, and then new line, welcome to the server name. All of the different corresponding numbers or things here will be right here. So if you're having trouble, just look here. It'll show everything you need to make a new MOTD. Whitelisting, I'm going to say no. Server features, you can choose all this. You probably shouldn't mess with this except for this right here, which is the Minecraft permissions bucket. So you can have group manager, permissions, permissions bucket, permissions bucket plus mchat. It is recommended, but you don't have to have any of that. Then go to player notices, show welcome message, yes. Show access denied message, no. Warn when performing world save, yes. Whitelist message, you are not on the whitelist. So if it's whitelisted, this is what it's going to say when you try and join you're not in the whitelist. Game settings, peaceful, survival, allow player versus player combat, no, enable monsters, no, enable animals, yes, enable nether access, yes, nether by default, which will make the players spawn in the nether by default, no, allow flight, no. Allow flight means that if somebody has a client that has a flying mod and they join your server and they start flying around if you have yes it will let them fly around if you have no it won't let them fly around bucket plugins this is for if you have bucket installed you have, all the plugins will show up here delete a world if you want to delete a world change your password number one thing you want to do at first put in admin as the old password and then put in your new password whatever it wants whatever you want it to be you do have to remember it though. Go to backups, 
you can create a backup of your world if you would like. Name it whatever you want and then click create backup. This will always be here unless you click pray, delete backup. Then over in schedule, this is for schedules. If you have, if you want the server to save the world at a certain time, if you want it to say something at a certain time, if you want it to restart the server at a certain time, all these are under the events table. Then if you want it once per day, here's the time. 0000, zero, zero, zero is 12 a.m. This is in 24 hour time, whatever you want to call it. That's what it's in. User and groups, do not mess with this unless you have a permissions mod installed with Bucket. Right now we don't. Chat, this is just for the server window if you want to say something as a server. And this just shows you if the server is up and running. Now, the important part is if you want to have Bucket installed, you need to go to Update. And then click Update slash Install Bucket. Because right now, Bucket is not updated for 1.0.0. Now, this is for 1.8.1. But again, like I said at the beginning, if Bucket does update to 1.0.0, then this tutorial should work as long as all MC Admin things are the same. But you're going to need to come over here. And even if you just started up and Bucket is updated to 1.0.0, the current version of Minecraft, you still need to come over here and click install bucket. So you need to click this. It's going to come up here. It's going to say that bucket is not updated to 1.0.0. It's only compatible with 1.8.1. Say OK. Now, if your client is 1.0.0, you will not be able to join. You'll need to downgrade. The way you downgrade, there's a couple of mods and other things. But those are not going to be in the description below. You're going to have to look that up. I'm sorry about that. It'll take a second to download. Just give it a while. And once it's done downloading, you will have Bucket. Now at the beginning, all Bucket does is nothing. Bucket just adds, you can add mods to Bucket. At the beginning, there are no mods that come with Bucket. So you're just going to need to start the server. And in another tutorial, which is coming really soon, is I'm going to show you how to install Bucket plugins. So be sure to watch that, because you're going to need Bucket plugins if you have Bucket. Because then there's no point in having Bucket unless you don't have Bucket plugins. OK, so now the server is up and running and is accepting players. Go over here, Minecraft. Assuming that you have paid for Minecraft, put in your username and password. Log in. Would you like to update? No. This is for me, for you guys. If you if you haven't updated to 1.0.0 yet on your client, do not update. Stay on 1.8.1 if you want buckets. Go to multiplayer. I've already added my server here. But what you do is you go under add server, put the server name, whatever you want under server address for you if you're playing on the server that is host if you're playing on the computer that is hosting the server put in local host all right local host but if you're playing on a different computer and want to join and your or your friends want to join you need the ip of the computer that is using the that is hosting the minecraft server the way you find that out Third link description below, ipchicken.com. Go there, see your IP, give that IP to your friends, type it into the server address, and then connect. If for some reason you need to port forward, it's going to depend on your computer. Now, most Macs, and I think it's all Macs, do not need any port forwarding on the actual computer, but you may need it on your internet router. Now you're going to need to call your internet router company, whoever's hosting your internet router. You need to call them and ask them how to port forward on that router. I cannot teach you how to do that because there's so many different routers and I can't buy every single one just to teach you how to port forward. 
but basically once you have port forward and if you don't need any port forwarding great all you need to do is click connect join server click here join server I am in the water I need to get out so right here we are in the middle of nowhere hopefully you have better luck of creating a world than me because this is not a very good world but right now in the middle of nowhere but bucket is installed so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go in and we need to I'm probably gonna die but we're gonna op myself or you can op yourself so you do slash op then your name opting from wrestle now if you go back which I'm dying now if I can get out nope I'm gonna die yep oh well okay I can do slash game mode FM wrestle, then set it to one. Now you can fly around. There you go. You are now admin, and you can fly around whenever you wherever you want. And you can place unlimited blocks. You know all all that. We are running in 1.8.1 again. Can say that. And this is using bucket. To find out most commands, just do slash b u, sorry, slash help. This will list all the commands. With a mod called essentials, you'll get pages of commands. But we're not going into that right now. We're going to go into that later. And what the heck happened here? There is a sheer cliff going. That's weird okay never seen that before anyways this is pretty much or anyway sorry this is the tutorial on how to install and use a minecraft server with bucket the next tutorial will be on how to install plugins now you're gonna wanna watch that that's gonna be important because if you don't have any plugins, it's going to be pretty boring. I'll show you some plugins that allow you to shoot l lightning out of a stick. Pretty awesome. I call it an admin stick. Anyways, that is any way that is it for this tutorial. I will see you next time. If this tutorial helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe for more. This has been FM Wrestle. And I'm now signing off. See you in the next tutorial. Good I came to dig, 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 dig. I'll build a city. I'm so big, 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 big. Just wait a sec, gotta kill this pig.